Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for a new video. Um, it's another update video. I don't know when the last time it was that I posted one, but hey. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of say like why I'm not really posting right now and why I won't be for a few, you know, minutes. Uh, <laughs> A few weeks, probably. I would like to start again eventually. I have a few videos recorded I'd like to post. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even really streaming either. And I freaking, I love streaming. And I love doing YouTube. Like, I love doing both. So, I mean, I'm just going to give a little trigger warning. This is about someone in my family who's going through a hard time right now. Like, they're they're dying. Um, so, trigger warning, I guess. Um but basically i've never really had a father in my life um <clears throat> i do right now is my stepfather literally he is the greatest man i've ever met um crap my computer okay he he's had cancer since i've known him which hasn't been that long um but he's had it for a really long time, and he's been in worse condition before, but it's still scary right now. Um, he has bone marrow cancer, right? Um, and it's eating at his bones right now. He has to be in a wheelchair forever, and it's just, it's really hard. Because, I mean, he's the first dad I've ever had. And I've only had him as my dad for, like, three years. And I really don't want to lose him. So, and as for most of you who know, I do live in Arkansas. But I did live in Wisconsin with my family. So, I'm about to travel back up there here in a couple weeks. And then I'm going to see them. He's on hospice right now. And for those of you who don't know what hospice is... A lot of people don't go on it until they're, like, literally, like, on their deathbed. He's not there yet. I hope he doesn't get there. He's been in worse condition before, like I said, so I have hope. But, um, it's still hard. Um, but I think it's best if I just kind of don't force myself to try and put on this happy face because truth be told I'm not happy at all right now I've got a lot going on in my apartment because the landlord he either lost two-thirds of our rent or someone stole the money orders that we put in the drop box widened it out and put their names on them and said there we go <laughs> so either that happened or you know he lost them um so we're probably gonna have to move out because we can't do anything about that. We can't afford to pay, you know, another $500 on top of what we've already paid. Like, we already paid $700 in rent. Like, this ain't no luxury freaking place. Like, let me tell you, sweet pea. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to keep it on the low right now. Like, my life. Because I'm trying to work as much as possible so I can save enough to move out because apparently I have to do that now that literally we found that yesterday um and today's the ninth I won post this today and my stepdad that's been going on for I want to say a month maybe it's moving very fast to say the least um it's spreading and that's the scary part because I don't think it's spread before but, like I said, I have hope, you know. I don't want to lose that. I just want to stay focused and, I don't know. Like, I, I want to record, but it's like, every day I wake up, I don't want to get out of bed. I have to force myself to get out of bed, take a shower, eat. And by the time I'm done, that, done with that, it's time to go to work. I get home and I go straight to sleep. All I do is sleep right now because I'm, like, out of it. And I don't know very many people that have lost their father. 
and people that have lost their father, I feel like they can easily come to terms with, not easily, but they can come to terms with it because they've had their father and they can, you know, have all these memories that they've shared with their father and it's, it's great for them, you know, and I've like, I've, I can count the amount of memories I have with this man because I've been moved out for almost a year, you know, and he's not been my father for that long. So it's like, I don't really have that many memories with him. Not to mention he's been sick this entire time, you know, like it's just not been that bad. Like his count hasn't been up that much. So until recently, but even when he wasn't like this sick, he was still sleeping all day. So it was like, it's pretty nocturnal to be honest with you, but it's like, I just don't have that memory, many memories of my dad and I want to make more. So it's really hard. And I just feel like no one (laughs) understands like, and it's hard, so hard, but I'm just going to try and be a positive, as positive as possible. But, um, I have, like I said, I have a few videos I'm going to post, hopefully, (laughs) if I can get around to editing them. I'm not even hardly streaming. Like, when I do stream, I'm kind of just like, bleh, on Twitch, but, um, I hope to come out of that, that funk, because streaming and YouTube is what I want to do, literally, like, forever. (laughs) Like, I love it so much, but, I don't know, but I hope you guys our understanding, um, I'm gonna try and record before I leave, so that way it's not, like, such a long break of me not having any videos posted, ooh, excuse me, um, but yeah, I hope you guys understand, um, I know I said a lot of personal stuff, but I mean, there's a bunch of families that have gone through stuff like this, so I'm not, I mean, is it really that personal? I don't know. I mean, it's personal, but a lot of people understand, so. Um, but yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.